Hi guys, welcome to Ask a Little Witch. Okay, so finally, this is Mercury in the sign of Capricorn, okay? Um, now, if you don't know where your Mercury is placed, you can check out the link below. There's a little link to an online birth chart calculator. Just plug in all your details and it will tell you where your Mercury sign is placed. Now, as well, if you don't know what Mercury represents within a birth chart, you don't know what my interpretation of Mercury is within a birth chart, you can check out that video as well. I'll post a link down in the information box. And let's just move on with it. So Mercury and Capricorn. So those of you that follow me or have watched my videos on previous videos to do with Capricorn, you'll know that I kind of advocate that wherever Capricorn is, is kind of like where in life you have to learn the most. Where in life that you might struggle to begin with, but where in time will become your like greatest asset. That's because Capricorn is ruled by the planet Saturn. Saturn has this very strict nature about it. It's very um, parental in a certain way, but kind of harsh, you know. Um, I would say Jupiter and Saturn is kind of they have the opportunity to effectively kind of do the same thing. Jupiter kind of lets you kind of decide and figure out things for yourself. It's more optimistic, more open-minded, I guess. Whereas Saturn has a very strict kind of nature, you know? Um, so having your um, self-expression and your communication and your learning abilities in this sign of Capricorn, it does make for quite a powerful yet quite trying kind of a placement you know um as well if you check to see where your saturn is placed and what sign it is that will give you like an undercurrent as the drive to your mercury as well you know there's kind of like to add a little bit more depth into it okay so it could i guess um many times you know your self-expression your art your speech your communication your words they come across as being or having this kind of strength behind them um, you know you have this ability to really captivate people when you speak people listen you know there's a power behind what it is that you're saying most Capricorn energy or in this case your Mercury and Capricorn you would appear to have experienced a lot and mostly it does lead to kind of hardship you know you've gone through a lot of hardship and that's kind of led you to this state of wisdom or being wise or um, speaking some harsh yet very down-to-earth humbling truths um, you and I think it's when you do this or when you've kind of overcome some certain things and don't get me wrong it's going to be a journey but when I think of Capricorn I think of the word relentless you know Capricorn Mercury and Capricorn is relentlessness it's that drive it's that that need to reach the top of the mountain and you will do whatever it takes to get there now what I will say about Mercury in Capricorn is they can be very very difficult to kind of reach you know there could be this kind of standoffishness um, towards them and that's when they're going through something that they might not want to talk about yet okay so you can't push and prod, prod them to do something or say something and um, they tend to bottle up a lot of their emotions and they kind of can like be a little bit snappy um when they're kind of upset or angry you know but mainly when i look at them i, I do see relentlessness okay i see this need or this drive to really succeed now those that kind of give up and kind of like oh what's the point this is when saturn can be a bitch okay because saturn doesn't want you to give up saturn's gonna push and push and push and push until you get off your ass and do whatever it is that you have to learn or overcome or do or say or whatever um and that can kind of feel quite isolating so i guess mercury's and capricorns can feel quite misunderstood um they could feel quite alone in many cases you know because they're having to be it's very solitary you know capricorn kind of represents you know that archetype of being the leader being on top of the mountain and you know when you're on top of the mountain it can be cold and lonely because you're looking down at everything else going on and for you you have to put in the extra work for you you have to do that little bit extra but you will get the rewards as well so it is well worth it as well so it could be that i'm a cancer rising and um you know capricorn falls in my seventh and eighth house so it kind of gives me that I mean, I find wherever the Capricorn energy to me is baffling, okay? It's baffling, but it's very, very attractive. Um, now, it's not a power thing, you know? I'm not into big, powerful people or anything like that. I love the fact that, you know, Capricorn people, your Mercury and Capricorn, no matter what kind of gets thrown at you, you will do your best 
and it's almost like this kind of like I said before that relentlessness of getting back up someone knocks you back down you get back up it's that strength you know you have this power and this desire to succeed no matter what gets thrown at you you know you have you see the goal and that's where you're going you know nothing's going to stop you you're not afraid of hard work you know you're willing to put in the extra time and the extra effort um there's this real strength to the capricorn vibe the capricorn energy and i think that's just amazing now wherever capricorn falls in your chart wherever your mercury and capricorn falls in your chart that's going to kind of indicate to you where you are likely to um suffer some struggles okay capricorn is struggles um it is lessons um but at the same time it's going to indicate as well where your greatest gains are going to be um and i say greatest gains because okay you can look to jupiter jupiter is very like expansive but these are going to be rewarding okay these experiences these hardships whatever it is that you're kind of going through um when it comes to you know your your self-expression because let's face it you can't get anywhere in life without communication without you know interacting so this is kind of key for you um and i definitely feel like you you will success so don't fret you know mercury and capricorn has a message to share something to teach something to say you affect people you can teach people in a great way as well um so don't fret if you're not at that place in your life right now um you will be sometimes it just takes time and years of experience certain things going through the motions before you're ready to express and communicate and tell people and share things with people you know so mercury and capricorn it's strength it's it is powerful because you know nothing can stop you you are going for it and you don't care you know if you have to learn something else if you have to go a different route you're going to meet your target and i think that is incredibly attractive so you're very lucky to have your mercury in capricorn okay so capricorn as a sign for me tends to resonate more with the leader archetype okay um they're on top of the mountain kind of separate from everyone else and so they've got a great view they can really foresee how things are going to you know play out you know they can look down and just see you know and kind of like i guess like a puppet master you know they can kind of control and pull the strings now that being said they are very selective with their words okay um they're very calculated they're very strategic with what they're going to do next you know they're not ones to necessarily reveal a great deal um you know they pin they pick and choose what it is that they want to tell you um and that's just them holding on and trying to keep uh play their cards close to their chest i think is the expression um these people are very kind of yeah i guess it can kind of come across you know when they're speaking it's like they're giving a speech okay so when they do communicate it's they've got this speech kind of prepared or it seems like they've got it rehearsed or prepared but they haven't okay it's just that natural earthy ability to kind of um it's just very fluid it's very fluid it's um strategic it's calculated it's getting the facts in there getting their points being made in a very diplomatic way as well um but it's just a very i don't know how to put it into words you know um they're very diplomatic you know they get their point across in the best way possible in a very diplomatic way um they're not ones to bash anyone either you know unless you're like preventing them or getting in their way in some big way you know to prevent their legacy of you know other capricorns in their generation i don't know unless you're preventing them in that way they're not going to bash you they're very professional they're very um selective with what they're telling you um it's very it does feel quite standoffish it does feel very disconnected in some cases you know it feels like where's the emotion here like you know what am i getting because they compose themselves and when they speak it's like they are um very controlled very calm um but yet powerful you know it's moving what they have to tell you is like wow okay i'm listening um yeah okay so sagittarius suns with the mercury in the sign of capricorn um i would recommend that you check out and see where your jupiter's placed you know because that is obviously your sun sign um ruler um so check out jupiter check out the sign and the house that they're placed in as that's just going to add a little bit more information into this kind of yeah this thing um okay so one thing i will say about a sun in sag with a mercury and capricorn is that they have expanding hearts 
okay they really do care about the collective they care about the world um, so they tend to want to use their voices to um, raise awareness to the more important things in this world that maybe go unnoticed you know they're often always involved in um, charitable causes as well okay so these people are very hands-on they like to get involved with projects that are going to expand them as a person okay and um, they have this kind of belief that through great hardship through difficult circumstances comes great triumph and great success it's very very rare that you're going to see these people down on their luck for too long you know um, they have their sun in sand so um, you guys are going to be people that have this shining optimism that kind of powers through you you know letting you know that this too shall pass you look at situations as temporary nothing ever lasts forever everything's always moving and yeah so these people have you know this need or this desire this want in this yearning to be better people they want to make a difference they want to take physical action you know these people are you know um truth seekers they want to understand things they want the knowledge and through that knowledge and comes understanding and through the understanding they know that they can actually make a difference by taking action like physically doing something now i wouldn't go as far as to say they are as like humanitarian as say like an aquarius um but because of their mercury in the sign of capricorn you know they can be heard so whatever they say is going to be heard and taken notice of so through that they can really actually physically make a difference in whatever area of life that they want to make a difference in these people are not going to be you know as out there as a sun in sag or a mercury in sag because of that capricorn there's going to be this sense of professionalism and um, everything that they say is going to be concise it's going to be to the point um, but they are definitely going to generate more warmth than, let's say, a Sun in Capricorn with a Mercury in Sagittarius, okay? They are still going to want to share things um, a lot more, um, but they still are going to want to obviously withhold certain things. So they're certainly more open, but they're not going to be as open as like a Sun in Sag with a Mercury in Sag because of that Capricorn. Okay, so Sun in Capricorn, Mercury in Capricorn. These people, you know, probably experienced a lot. They've gone through a lot, just like I said at the beginning of the video, but they are some of the funniest people to know. These people, I mean, you get the Capricorns that are private, but when you get to know one, like really get to know um, a Sun in Capricorn with a Mercury in Capricorn, you know, they really do know how to make light out of a bad situation. You know, they make jokes at the crappy shit that happens in life. Um, now, they're highly successful, highly driven, relentless individuals. Um, these people are powerful houses okay they are business minded you know they are concise they are relentless they are people that you know really strive for the best of the best in life you know um when they speak they do speak with conviction um but they get things across in the best way possible um they have a great sense of humor and they still have that kind of well obviously they do um but they have this earthy you know capricorn sex appeal thing going on with them Okay, so when these people speak, you know, people really do listen, you know, they're genuine, they are humble, they are say, or I guess you can call them the say it how it is types, you know, um, there's nothing false about a Capricorn, obviously if there's other aspects and stuff like that, but um, usually they're very humble to be around, they're very um, earthy down to earth say it how it is you know um i'm gonna start this again okay so when you guys speak people listen okay and they listen not just because you have this exudance of um authoritiveness or power to you um they listen because you know you say it how it is there's something very real about you you're very real to know you're genuine you're humble um okay you can be a little bit direct sometimes maybe um you've had to work really hard at your self-expression you know whatever it is that you're crafting or putting together you had to put in extra effort now depending upon like other aspects and planetary influences and stuff um i would say you either you know really enjoyed the challenge or you'll grow up to enjoy that challenge you know it's one of those love hate type things you know you probably curse the fact that you have a mercury in capricorn but at the same time it's the, one of the best things about you 
Lastly, uh, one of the last things I'm going to say about you guys is that you, you can hold back, you know. You're not someone who's going to say something that they don't mean. And you're someone who needs to know all the facts and fully understand the situation before you're committed to expressing or putting forward your opinion on something or advising someone. You like to make sure everything is out there on the table and then you can pick and choose what you're going to say. Now, that would depend and it could be dependent upon like if you have say a Mars aspect in a fire or an air sign you know very outgoing signs that could change that that could make you a little bit more impulsive a little bit more direct or a, not direct a little bit more just kind of impulsively speaking but usually a Mercury and Capricorn will hold back you know they don't want to say things that they don't mean and they don't want to say things without knowing the facts first and um, that's just one of their little um, annoyances sometimes you know they need to know everything think in full before they're willing to commit to expressing or saying something because they don't want to be wrong okay so sun in aquarius mercury in capricorn so let's face it aquarius as a sign is very odd some some would say a little bit odd a little bit strange a little bit weird they are very unique individuals now these people are probably people who would find it hard to kind of um I mean, when they speak, they speak in a very controlled manner, but they're likely to kind of mull things over, you know, they're kind of ones that are going to overthink things, process things, mull things over before they're ready to communicate. And when they do communicate, sometimes it really stresses them because they haven't, you know, it can kind of come across wrong or they get misunderstood. Um, you know, they don't communicate in a way that satisfies them. It's almost like, oh, it's not what I meant, you don't understand, and it's really frustrating. Um, and I definitely feel like a creative outlet would really, really help you with that kind of issue. Now, this sign, you know, um, they love a good debate, um, but they're not ones to want to lead. Okay, they don't want to lead, they don't want to be followed, um, they prize themselves on being unique and seeing things in a different way and um, they can get very very frustrated when you don't understand what it is that they're trying to say and sometimes it can come across very harsh almost you know very um, brash very like offensive sometimes and it's it's not their fault you know um, they don't mean it they don't mean to come across in that way it's just really frustrating for them because they are an Aquarius, you know, they don't think like everyone else, they're not like everyone else, they are the most unique, quirky, different sign in the zodiac and yet they're having to express themselves like a controlled Capricorn and that can create a lot of confusion because they're having to filter things backwards and forwards so they're not ones to necessarily want to talk about things until they're ready. They like to mull things over and that's them just trying to process and communicate in a way that's going to get what they mean across in the best way possible but it's very rare that they get what they want across in the best way because you know they're never fully satisfied it's like no 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 I didn't mean it like that I meant it like this but now you think that I meant it like that and then they just get really like irritated I guess um in many cases not all the time um because like I said before like they do like to kind of um it's not even like they're thinking before they're speaking you know what they say comes across as if it's like perfect seamless you know well thought out you know eloquent you've got all your little facts in there and stuff like that but at the same time they don't mean it to come across in a certain way and it can be misconstrued um as well and then misunderstood i mean if you look at it you know capricorn is ruled by saturn aquarius is ruled co-ruled by saturn but primarily ruled over by uranus um and this can kind of be a big telltale sign you know it's almost like they have this burden like they don't want to be responsible they want to be free you know it's aquarius it's like the younger sibling you know they want to just get away with things they don't want to have to take responsibility they don't want to have to do things in a controlled manner they don't want to have to be push, pushed and prodded and you know like jabbed on you know they just want to freedom of speech i just want to say it and have no consequences and that be that uh, but because that mercury and capricorn they have to take responsibility for what it is that they're saying so comes that dilemma you know that kind of um confusion that burden of you know i just want to be like free and flamboyant and say what i want to say but i can't because i'm feeling restricted you know i have to do things in a certain order in a certain way and that's annoying but they are still people who won't commit to something won't give their advice on something until they're sure of the facts 
you know they still like to know everything before they're going to express themselves or tell you something and um, because like I said before they are not ones that want to be wrong they want to give good solid standpoint kind of like yeah this is the great advice you know I know what I'm talking about here so unless they know that they're not going to they're going to kind of dance their way around it be quite diplomatic so you guys, you know, you, you still have this kind of powerful stop, take note of what I'm saying, of what I'm doing type of vibe going on. Um, but at the same time, I do feel like you maybe might find it hard to pick things up, you know. You're a hands-on. You need to see how things are taken apart to put it back together. You need to understand things fully before you're ready to, like, speak about it. But you have the ability to... Um, create something amazing you know if you can really harness you know if you have a creative outlet uh, or an undercurrent of what it is that you're doing you know you can really um, be very very successful because you have this innate ability to create something original to be original and yet have the discipline and the drive to um, make it all the way um, so it is a really good placement you know but you're gonna have to it's almost like you have to work at it constantly having to work at it um in terms of like your communication side of things something that you have to obviously take note and realize is that an aquarius works differently to any other sign you have to allow them the freedom to pick things up and do things in the way that they find best you know they're non-conformist they don't work in the same way that everybody else works um they need to you know if you're trying to push them to learn something that's mundane and boring it's going to frustrate the hell out of them it's going to irritate them they're not going to want to do it they just can't you know it's going to they're going to struggle at it it's too tedious Whereas if you just allow them to do things in the space and the time in the way that they find easiest that's when they're going to really create massive waves you know they have this capability to create waves to create change and to do big things you just have to allow them to do it in their own way and it might not be in the way that you want them to do things you know you just have to allow them that space to do that and lastly i guess what i'd say about these guys is you know usually you know a uh, sun in Aquarius is gonna be a very um, outgoing spontaneous extroverted type person but with your Mercury in Capricorn you would feel kind of uneasy at that you know it's almost like you need to have a plan of action you know you need to know exactly what it is that you're doing before you're ready to go do it um, so it does make you a little bit less um, spontaneous a little less out there um, but not at the same time. I hope that makes sense. It's almost like you worry about things, you know. Um, Aquarius as a sign, you know, Aquarius with their Mercury in Aquarius or um, Aquarius with their Mercury in, say, Pisces, it's a little bit more freer. It's a little bit more like, yeah, everything's fine. I'm just going to go with the flow and it's all cool. Um, but when it comes to um, you guys with your Mercury in Capricorn, you worry about things, you know, you overthink things, you're... Um, ticking away and organizing and like putting things in little boxes and little categories okay we need to go do this we need to do that i need to have a plan of action i need to understand you know what time we're meeting exactly what train i'm going to be on um i need to know where we're going to eat i need to know this 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 you know to a certain degree yeah they can be spontaneous they can just go with the flow of things but usually they like to have that backup plan that if anything goes wrong this is my plan of action this is what i'm gonna do and all is gonna be well um what else yeah i guess you guys can kind of sometimes it's almost like you're preparing for the worst you know um a sun in aquarius with a mercury in capricorn they're prepared for the worst they have a plan of action you know they worry like unnecessarily they're just constantly thinking about all the things that could possibly go wrong researching in every little area that they can so that they can be prepared for that going wrong you know it's almost like they just they just worry 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 and obviously it could be down to your moon sign as well so it does depend i'm not saying that all sun and occurrences with their mercury and capricorn are be like that but usually they like to organize and they like to prepare and they like to plan um and it just helps them with the worrying side of things or that overthinking over analyzing type thing so thank you so much for watching my video i hope it's related to you if it does or you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up comment share subscribe and all of that fun stuff and join me on facebook for um i do like little fun like 
tarot card things and other spiritual stuff as well um, and obviously if you would like a personal reading with me you can do that at my website www.askalittlewitch.com so until the next video I will speak to you soon